Hi, today we'll use Python to solve Sudoku. So we'll input the board here as a string s. And the rows are separated with a semicolon, and if the cell is blank, we'll put a zero there. So we call run, and up here we can see run. So we initialize board as an empty array, and we split the string s with the semicolon as the delimiter to get each line. And then with each line, we have it as a list and map it to an integer for each of the digits. Then we print the output from calling solve with the board and starting with row 0, column 0. And then we print the board as a string and format it so that it's better to look at. So for the solve, we check if row equals 9. That means we're done. So we'll return true. Yes, we were able to solve it. Otherwise, we'll have next column equals c plus 1. If the column is less than 8, if it's equal to 8, and that means we're done with the row, so we'll increment to the next row and reset the column to 0. For our next row, we check if c is less than 8 again and just have it as the same r, otherwise we'll increment r plus 1. So we check if the board at index rc is greater than 0, that means it's one of the given values. If so, We'll just continue on and call solve for the next row and column. Otherwise, we'll continue. And for each possible value for this row and column cell, uh, and we get that by calling get possibles. So if possible is greater than 0, then we'll try setting it for this cell. And then we'll recursively call solve with the next R and C in the next row and column. And if that returns true, then we will return true. Otherwise, we weren't able to solve it given the current setup. So we'll reset the current cell row column to zero and return false. To get the possible values for this cell, we'll start with a list here from zero to nine and if we encounter that digit in the row, column, or 3 by 3 box, then we'll set that index to 0. So for this first one, it will end up checking in the row, and that includes 5, so it'll set this 5 to 0. It next goes to this cell, and it's equal to 0, so it'll set it to 0, it's already 0. Next it will go to the 3 to the right of it, so it will change this 3 to a 0 in this possible array, and so on for the 7 later on in the row, the 2 and the 1 in the column, and in the 3 by 3 box, the 5, which is already done, uh, the 6, leaving a 4, 8, and 9 as the only possible values for this cell. I'll run this, and it returned true, and here's the solution, so let's try inputting that. And it solved it. So that's it. Hopefully you learned something. Thanks for watching. Bye.